Here is the enable mode password. Now I'm going to start off by using my privilege mode here. Notice in my graphic, I've started a privilege mode and I have executed the command that will put me into global configuration mode. Here I've used a truncated version, config t, which is the same as configure terminal you'll remember. This command is going to change my prompt with the configuration indicating where my context is. Now that I'm in global configuration mode, I can go ahead and use the enable password command. Enable password will set the enable password. All I am required at this point is to type in what the password will be. Now remember that this is an unencrypted password by default and thus we would see this displayed on the screen. I can then do a control Z which takes me back to the root. I have now set the enable mode password. Now we're going to set the enable secret password. You can see here that I'm still in the global configuration mode, but this time, instead of typing in enable password, I typed in enable secret and specify a different password than my enable password. This password is displayed when I type it in clear text, but once it has been typed in, it's going to be automatically encrypted in all future displays, which is the benefit of the secret mode password. Now I do a control Z to get back to the root privilege.